Hey everyone, Tio here. In today's video, I'm going to help you decide whether you should buy a pen display with touch screen or without touch screen. So I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of having a touch screen with a pen display. Let me start by saying that if you're using Mac OS, the touch screen support from Mac OS is kind of limited and the touch screen performance is not consistent. So some of the issues that I'm about to show you are actually not specific to this pen display that I'm currently testing, the Huion Canvas Pro 19. These issues can also happen on pen displays from other companies. Okay, so let's take a look at Clip Studio Paint on Mac OS. If I try to pen the canvas to the left side, you can see the canvas actually moves to the right side. So this is obviously not correct. You can see I have this problem with MIDI bang as well. Let me try and rotate this. There's a split second lag before it rotates and now rotation doesn't work. So this is what you have to deal with with Mac OS. When I'm using a pen display without touch screen, you know what, let me just disable the touch here. So for example, if I am drawing, I have to use the keyboard or hotkeys by the side of the pen display if they are available uh, to get a smoother workflow. So I can no longer pen with two fingers. I have to use a keyboard shortcut to pen. And I find that sometimes I would still use finger gestures instinctively due to habit because it's just more natural. And because we are so used to using portable tablets and our phones, which are basically touch screens, when you switch over to using a non-touch screen pen display, chances are you will still use finger gestures when finger gestures are not supported. Personally for me, since I'm quite familiar with using a keyboard with keyboard shortcuts for drawing, not having a touch screen display is actually not a deal breaker for me. But having a touch screen display obviously is a nice bonus. Now if you are deciding whether to buy a portable tablet like an iPad or a Samsung tablet with pen support versus a pen display, the main selling point of having a pen display is you can use desktop software. You have access to desktop apps with full features and you have the very familiar OS file management system to work with. Even though you can get pretty good drawing performance from the Apple Pencil or the Samsung S Pen or other digital pens from other tablets, the pens from pen displays are still more sensitive and accurate because these are products made for digital artists. So the main advantage of having a touch screen pen display is the drawing workflow is going to be smoother and more natural. For example, if you make a mistake, you don't have to control Z to undo or press a shortcut button. Um, for this app that I'm using, which is Concepts, it supports double finger tap to undo, which is so convenient. And now let's talk about the cons or the downsides. And the first one is pen displays with touch screens are noticeably more expensive compared to pen displays without touch screens. So if you want to save money, you can just go with pen displays that do not have touch and just use your keyboard or hotkeys or the shortcut remote and you can save hundreds of dollars and you can still get like a big pen display. Even for Windows, I find that the gesture support is kind of limited. So for example, with this app concepts, I can configure shortcuts for two finger tap, three finger tap, and four finger tap, and that's pretty much it. Whether you can configure finger gesture shortcuts really comes down to the apps you use. And generally speaking, there is very limited customization for finger gesture shortcuts with drawing apps. For example, with Photoshop, you can just pan, zoom, and rotate, and that's all. There are no shortcuts for two, three, four, five finger taps. Windows OS actually has support for some finger gesture shortcuts, and some of those shortcuts actually will interfere with the shortcuts from drawing apps. For example, if I use three fingers to tap on the screen, which I have configured to show the layers palette, you can see that it doesn't work. That's because this shortcut has been pre-programmed to show the app switcher. So I need to disable the Windows shortcut for this shortcut to work with the drawing app. 
So here I can disable three and four finger touch gestures with windows. So now when I use this shortcut, you can see it works perfectly. If you're using a pen display with a small display, chances are your hand would be near the edge. For example, my hand could be resting here on the edge while drawing on a maybe 15, 16 inch pen display. But on a 19 inch pen display, I can actually have my hand further away from the edge. On a smaller pen display, when your hand is near the edge, I find that sometimes I would accidentally just swipe out the windows with this panel and you can swipe out from the left as well so I find this quite irritating and thankfully you can disable that as well. I don't think this was possible to disable years ago but now you can. If you find that your palm or finger may activate some of these buttons here, you can actually set the task bar to hide automatically. How well palm rejection works will depend on the drawing app you use. For example, with this app concepts, I can place my palm on the display and draw. I can try to draw with my finger, but I will not be able to draw any lines or create any stray strokes. So palm rejection here is perfect. But if I use my pen, I can draw. Here is one aspect of palm rejection that may annoy people. When your pen is near the display, you cannot use your finger to press buttons or move things around because the pen is near the display. So if I want to switch tools, I have to move the pen away like this before I can switch tools. This is just a small inconvenience that I can get used to quite easily. So when I'm drawing and I want to switch tools, I just do this and switch tools and get back to drawing. This happens on Samsung tablets as well when the pen is near the display. The iPad is smarter, so when the pen is near, I can still switch tools. So this is just a software programming issue. Another thing to take note of is the user interface for many of the drawing apps, the desktop drawing apps running on Windows is actually not designed for touch screens. Some of the buttons are going to be too small for your fingers to click accurately. So, I mean, which is not a problem because you can still use your pen to click those small buttons. And of course, Windows also has many drawing apps that are designed for touch screens. So those apps will have big buttons that you can click very accurately with your fingers. Sketchbook Pro, oops, um, palm rejection is not working. So let me just go into the preferences to enable pen mode. Let me just undo this. Okay, palm rejection works now. So Sketchbook Pro works really well with a touch screen. All right, to conclude, I'm not going to say that having a touch screen is a must have, but it's certainly really nice to have if you have the extra budget to spend. And if you're using Mac OS, don't buy a touch screen pen display. All right, I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.